So here's something interesting. I bought the i980 CarSoft scanner to try and figure out my ABS light on my ML500. And as usual, I can't seem to get any response from my ML500. So if I go diagnose here, and I say Benz, And there's my car, the 163 ML class, gasoline, left hand, ML 500. There's for the ABS right there. Here's what's funny. I can say control unit version. So this value in here is not, I don't think, from the vehicle. It's hard-coded into the iCar soft software, which is kind of bogus. So anyway, if I try and read this thing, it won't work, which is fine. So we can't find this thing. But what I found interesting today by messing with this thing is I can go back to the main menu here. And go to Sprinter. There's a Sprinter. And I just use this top one here. And if I go here to the ABS on Sprinter, and I say control unit version, it's saying I got something here called a ESP KWP. Hardware values are 03, so it's a little more closer to what I would think my 05 vehicle would be anyway. I'm an ML500, 2005 ML500. If I then try and read these values, I can read something for once out of this thing, which apparently is a miracle. So there's something for once that left front, I've been working in that area a lot. Maybe that's scooped up. Anyway, maybe the ABS in this truck is on just due to the left cable. I don't know. Anyway, can I now clear this stuff out of here? This will be rather amazing. Oh man, there's no way this is going to work. Clear it. Wow. So it says it cleared out my ABS light on a sprinter, even though I'm not a sprinter. So what does this mean then? If I read these codes again, it should be gone, right? I bet they're still here. Yep. Oh, one code. Wow, that's rather cool, isn't it? So I cleared out most of them.
Well, I'm really happy I can, like, read these things. This is worth $113 for the scanner if I can read this stuff. All right. So now, if we turn the vehicle off and on, I'm expecting us to have a, um, a fault code in this thing because in the ABS because apparently there's a problem with it, right? So now there's the engine started up. The ABS light is still on. Let's see if we can keep talking to this thing and see if we can get some real-time data out of it. Okay, the motor's running now. Look at this one DTC of C1410. Okay, what about actual values? Can I actually get actual values? That'd be cool. Oh my god, that's so cool. Will it work? Oh, this is so cool. Brake switch opened. Stop lamp opened. Steering angle not calibrated. Well, that's something to do, isn't it? That's jumping around, so maybe it's calibrated. So anyway, not much interesting in there, right? Stop lamp, can I close it? Close, yep, it works. I press the, I press the uh, brake pedal, it works. Okay, brake pedal's up. It's opened, it shouldn't keep bouncing around. Who knows? Okay. I want to see wheel speeds. So obviously these aren't right. But this may give me some indication in what's wrong with my car, truck. SUV, whatever this thing is. Okay, well, the right rear axle then could be faulty, I wonder. I wonder if I drive, if these will make a difference now. I'm in a parking lot. So, all these lights are on now. So I guess the system knows I'm monitoring it. Now the truck is not hitting anybody in the parking lot while I'm messing around with this camera. And it says my emergency brake is on, even though it's not on. Alright. So I bet one of my wheel sensors is dead. Beeping at me saying the brake light's on, emergency brake is off. Let's see if these numbers will vary if I crank this thing up at some speed here in the parking lot. There's 10 miles an hour. So the only wheel working right, they're all flashing. The only wheel that's right is the back wheel. But well, I guess I'll analyze these codes and see what they mean.
still driving along. Let's stop the car. Yeah, the only sensor that's reasonable is the one in the back. I can't believe they're all burned out. Okay, I'm parked back at the parking lot here at work under my favorite tree. Let's take a look. There's my favorite tree, see that? There's moss growing on it too. Okay, so... The only thing correct is the uh, back wheel there. Let's take a look. Got fault codes now. C1410. Only one. So I cleared 10 billion fault codes and only one remains. Well, thanks for watching. The saga goes on of how to fix the ABS on a W163 2005 ML500. See you later.